Hey guys and girls, <clears throat> I'm pulling away from Sherry and Jack's house. I'm over here visiting Chris for the weekend. I'll spend every weekend with Chris. So I'm pulling away from their house and heading up to Jimmy Houston Marine. You know, I've been wanting a trick step for my Ranger boat trailer for, golly, two or three years. Well, I finally got one. I finally finally broke down and got one. And uh, 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 Mark sent me one in the mail this week. I visited with him last week and, and we, we, uh, we got one. And, and I want to have Jamie install that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, better buckle up. It's still in the driveway, but this Ram truck will not let me drive without being buckled up. And that's a good deal. That's a good deal. It reminds me. I would have got buckled up the time I got to the highway. But, but anyway, we're going to go up and uh, put that uh, quick step, uh, trick step in. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it is, it is, it is very neat. It's the, the best one on the marketplace. And uh, it's the one I've been wanting for, for quite a while. Uh, and I tell you, it's getting more difficult as I, to get in and out of a Ranger boat. And this is like the best thing in the world. Uh, we're going to install that. I'm going to do a little how-to video installing that. When I say I, I mean Jamie or Steve and, and me. <laughs> I've got it in the back of my truck here. And uh, uh, Sherry and Jack are going to Bass Pro Shop in Broken Air today. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of people at Bass Pro Shop in Broken Air. But and Chris is down here, so they're going to bring Chris up to the up to the shop and and she'll be running around with me all day today so that's going to be a really fun deal to get to do and uh she told me she said well hurry so i'm hurrying but anyway we're uh, pulling out on the highway here on lake ten killer and we're going to be getting this ranger boat getting this ranger boat up here to jimmy houston marine in about five minutes and getting started installing that quick tr uh, trick step and let me tell you the other thing that we're going to be doing too i'm going to install uh when I say I, I mean Jamie and Steve and I are going to install a uh, an eight gauge wire running from my uh, battery, uh, my, my starting battery up to my live scope because I'm making another little change on my live scope operation. Also, uh, I'm adding a right height pole uh, to that uh, probably Monday, and I'll do a video on showing how to install one of those because those are becoming extremely, extremely popular. Uh, it sets it off offset, it flattens out your bottom, gives you a, a better angle, more angle up there. And, uh, and, it, and I'm, I'm trying to totally eliminate the interference or at least get the interference down to where it's not much. I like to run those up real high so I can see everything. And uh, the higher you run, the more interference you get. We're trying to get rid of all of that interference that we can. Garmin's done a lot to get rid of the interference, you know, on the updates. And I haven't updated mine on software update in a little while too. So we're gonna do that at the same time. So we're gonna get all this. We'll probably be doing a couple of, um, a couple of different how-to videos, but one we'll be talking about how to install a trick step and uh, gonna do that right now. Okay, we are pulling into Jimmy Houston Marine, Jimmy Houston Outdoor Store and Marine, Jimmy Subs, people buying gas. Ooh, he's, he's rigged up. I need that rig right there. I need, I'm wonder if I can buy those mowers from him. <laughs> and it looks like Jamie's got a big pontoon boat he's working on over there. Lots of people in the store buying fishing tackle. So, here we are. Golly, it's a big pontoon boat, a big tracker. Some tracker, we sell tracker boats, nitro boats, Tahoe boats. Got way behind on service work over here. It's a big deal. But Steve looks up and says, oh no. Oh, that's not, yeah, it's his Steve there too. Steve looks up and says, oh no. I hate to shoot through the windshield of my truck. My truck was beautifully clean last night when I got here. And, uh, but when I drove down here, I drove down it after dark and the bugs are horrendous. I'm talking about horrendous. This thing pulled in here. Lots of work going on <clears throat> at the Kawasaki store. We, uh, we're a Kawasaki dealer and uh, we handle lots and lots of Kawasaki. So Kawasaki service work is way behind just like the everything else this time of the year. It's a busy time of the year. When you get to the summertime, everybody's using all their summertime water toys and buying mules we can't keep mules in stock and uh, it's just a busy busy time but we're working at it guess what we got in the box steve a trick step a trick step yeah you figured it out because it says trick step in great big letters <laughs> great big letters yeah my buddy mark took care of me and sent this up to me this week and we're going to do you an installation video right here steve's been working over there all day on boats but 
and said he'd come over here and help us install that. And what I'm gonna do is tell you what he's doing mostly, but I might I might hold something for him someone. One thing about it, he knows how to get in the box quick. <laughs> it's heavy, it weighs 37 pounds. That's what FedEx said it weighs, and I thought it weighed 47 when I, I picked it up. It's pretty heavy. But it's a relatively easy installation, I believe. We're fixing to find out, aren't we? That's one thing that, that Federal Express or UPS or U.S. Post Office, none of them can tear that up in shipment. Although some of them will try, won't they? It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's a great unit. I mean, it, of, of those type units, and there's some others on the market, but that's the very best one. That's the one I've been wanting for a couple of years and finally broke down and got one. It's getting harder getting in and out of a Ranger boat than it used to be. They must be building them higher off the ground or something. I don't know. I think that's it. Or the legs are getting shorter. You reckon my legs are getting shorter? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, yeah. so good, so so good so far. We've got uh, got most of the stuff out of the package. Part of the game that's good is to make sure you got a nut in the boat and every hole, and you have two or three left over. <laughs> What's these for? Uh, I don't know what that is. That's instructions. That's for starting a fire. <laughs> that's what instructions are for. Sometimes it helps to read them. It keeps you from taking it, putting it on, and have to take it back off and turn it around, putting it on opposite. Keep from doing it twice. Have you done that? Ever done that? All the time. <laughs> I thought you'd lie to me and say never have. <laughs> Too close to Sunday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Looky here! Looky here! Steve's gonna look at the instructions. <laughs> I was just thinking. I was gonna see how far you got before you looked at those. Never hurts, huh? I just wanted to see the picture. You just want to look at the picture. That's, that's exactly where it goes. Right that's here. exactly. So that reflector is going to have to come off. And that's going to come off. What is that? That's your. Oh yeah, that does. That does. He he told me that. Yeah, actually, Mark Mark told me that. Yeah, actually, Steve, uh, I I forgot. Mark did tell me that is the. Uh, that's where you put your, your trailer light deal. That's what, okay. what that's for. That's what that's for. And he told me you had to move that and put it uh, down on the, you know, up on the side or something. You had to move that anyway. But I don't really use that anyway, so that's really not important uh, unless we want to just stick it somewhere so when we sell the boat, somebody will have it. All I do on mine, I, I take, well, here's what I do with mine. I just throw it right back there. Yeah, that's about and, as good. And, and that, that's as good as any, and that way, that, that's where I put mine. But he did tell me you had to take that off. And obviously we're gonna to have to take that uh, take that reflector off also. But you're right, you had it right, right exactly where it goes. Perfect, that's all you gotta do. You gotta, and you can move that somewhere else, and, but I don't know if that's really necessary. Well, I'll probably just put that in a storage box if somebody wants to put it somewhere else in and buy the boat, they, they can do it. But I don't really use it anyway. Yeah. Just in place to collect some more dust. <laughs> Okay, I got a phone call and was on the phone. While I was on the phone, Steve just about got this thing uh, installed. That's just how quick and easy to install it. And uh, he just about got that put on. That, that it's very. That's one of the good things about a trick step is that is it. Not only is it easy. Now I was in one of a buddy of mine's boat the other day, and he said he, you kind of get used to it. But it was mounted where it actually was up here in the way. And uh, when I got ready to try to tighten the the winch up, uh, it, it was in the way, and I was standing back here on the back and trying to tighten it up when we loaded, and I, I had a hard time getting my, uh, my my winch tight on my Ranger there. But now this is completely out of the way, 100% completely out of the way, and uh, and I, that's one of the reasons I like a trick step as opposed to any of the other brands. And uh, the only thing I can see on this is those stripes need to be blue instead of yellow, but and, uh, other than that, I guess it'll be okay. But that's a pretty easy install then, isn't it, Steve? Yeah. And uh, though we still have a bar to put on it, right? Because we got a, a handlebar to hold on to also. There's a yeah. But once that is done, that'll be it, won't it? I mean, that's all there is to it? Yep. That's pretty simple and easy. Even Jimmy could have done that, you reckon? <laughs> huh? With, with one hand. <laughs> with one hand. Why well, couldn't let Chris do it? <laughs> that's what she's got. She says she's going to cut my hair with one hand if I don't get it cut somehow, but I'm not going to get it cut. But that thing is set and angled for a Ranger Trail trailer or for a Triton trailer or for a Nitro trailer or 
whatever you want that it comes for the trailer that you you got. So it's it's not kind of a one size fits all. It's designed for each individual brand of boat trailer that you have. And of course we run a Ranger Trail trailer, which is very, very popular. But this is the cat's meow. I'm telling you what, uh, I don't care if, and, and I'm one of the main reasons I got it. Of course, I love it. I, I used one down in Mexico down there fishing Bacharach Lake. They had one. It was just absolutely fantastic. And, but now with Chris, uh, not being able to walk right now, but going to be able to walk pretty soon. And, uh, but she's going to have a little bit of hard time getting in and out of a Ranger boat, probably. And this is going to be a lot easier. She can just get in while it's sitting on the land and I can back her in and she's got one good hand. She can sure drive a boat with that. That's not a problem. But she's gonna have two good hands here sometime pretty soon. Either that or I'm gonna have a girl like, uh, I'm gonna have hair like uh, Bruce Jenner's hair. <laughs> That's pretty long. <laughs> but I'm not gonna change into a girl. Just have long hair. <laughs> Lord, I apologize for all that. <laughs>